Hey guys, it's Wolf Maiden, and today I wanted to do a quick update on a few of the LARPs that I'm going on and the guilds I'm in and stuff. So I was waiting for a bit to get placed into my Beakling guild, which is now Ordo, Ordo Servi, and now I am. And so that's awesome. I am picking up some more green things to kind of go with that now, because I don't really have that many green things. And then in Hynafall, I did get placed into my guild and it was Minatu Vandor, which is the guild that has their own library that is restricted to just the members of the guild. Originally didn't really know it was elves only. I don't usually play elves. In fact, I've never played an elf. I plan to do it eventually, but I have a lot of fun with human characters because I feel like obviously we're human and I relate more to humans rather than fictional races because I understand how a human feels because I am a human and I know how complicated we are because I am a human. <laughs> So it's like, you can play around with that a lot more, I feel like, or it's easier rather to make it realistic when you are making a character. So yeah, so I'm in Minato Vander and I'm going to be an elf. So that's kind of interesting for that LARP in November. And then I am literally next week, I'm going to Twin Mask with Matt. So that's really exciting. It's gonna be Matt's first LARP. Uh, super excited about that. And I'm going to be playing a human in that LARP. That is a Kestrel, which is basically sort of a Celtic, maybe peasant -er type. I think it really fits most of my style, which at this point is browns and basic things. I don't know. I just really, I really like that peasant vibe, I guess. I think it's, it just feels very relaxed, very earthy. The tones really are just my favorite. So, you know, I got orange and brown. I might have some intricate corsets, but I, I do enjoy the peasant aesthetic. <laughs> Not to say I don't enjoy other aesthetics, it just seems to be the thing I gravitate toward most and I have the most kit for, so I decided Kestrel would fit and so I built a character who was very simple, had like a pretty straightforward background. And with Twin Mask, your background ends in death. So my character is called Rayona Walsh and she is a Kestrel woman. She grew up with eight siblings. Her father passed away shortly after her birth. And so she was raised by her brothers and her mother. So her brothers taught her how to fight and defend herself and they made armor for her and they took care of her that way. They taught her to hunt a little bit. And her mother, in contrast, taught her healing skills, practical healing skills, like saving somebody who's bleeding out or setting a bone or applying pressure to wounds and bandaging things up, that kind of thing, and surgery even. So she's very, very much a practical healer. She does have a magical aptitude, which means that she will be able to learn magic as time goes on. So I'm excited to kind of see where that character goes. Originally was gonna go with more crafting skills, more gathering things, but I got herbalism and I got hunting. So those are gathering skills to kind of set up eventual branching off into different things that I think I might interest me basically. So that's super exciting. And then Matt is playing a character from Cole He's a pirate and um, well, if Matt wants to talk about his character later, he can totally do so. I don't want to like spoil anything. Uh, I don't think mine's too crazy. So there's nothing really to hide there. So yeah, I am super excited and um, I can't wait for that. So I'm gonna get a before and after of Matt's first LARP. Uh, what he expects and then how he feels about it afterwards. So that'll be very exciting. And yeah, I think that's all the updates for now. Had a hectic week, so this is, a, this is a short and sweet. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.